This is Louis. He is a very spicy Pekingese, and he is in desperate need of a professional grooming today. He has a lot of buildup of gunk in his eyes, he has some matting, and his nails are very overgrown. He is one of the most aggressive dogs that I've ever groomed, so stay tuned for his before and after. We're gonna have a bath and you're gonna be a nice boy, okay? Okay. Okay, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. Oh, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to get your ear. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay, buddy. You're okay, buddy. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. So you can see, ah, he's gonna try to bite. Hey, hey. No, don't bite. He's got some really, really, really bad eye boogers. And I don't know how I'm going to get those because he wants to kill me. So dogs like this, when they have really flat faces, it can be really difficult to try and get stuff like that because since their muzzle is so short, the distance of where they have to go to bite is short. So it can, can be dangerous. <laughs> oh, you're a bit of a jerk. I don't want to be bit by you. You are violent. I'm sorry. Don't worry. Don't bite when I dry your face, please. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. You're okay. You're okay. Good boy. Please don't bite me, okay? Pekinese are notorious for snapping without much warning. So right now he's like all good, but I don't really trust you very much. So unfortunately, Louis's family has been going through a tough time has been a little bit neglected because of it. Um, not on purpose, obviously, but he's here today to get all cleaned up. He's clean and he doesn't seem to be very matted. Someone looked to have taken clippers or scissors to him to try to fix him up, but his eyes are pretty bad and his nails are pretty bad. So hopefully we can get him cleaned up today. Hi, it's okay. You're okay. Hey, you're okay. Are you going to let me get those things out of your eyes in a bit? Good boy, you're not going to like the dryer. No, you're really not. Okay, so using a towel, I'm going to attempt to get these things out of his eyes with my flea comb. Good boy! Good boy! Good boy! Yeah! Very good boy! He's gonna snap. He's going to snap. So I'm doing this now while he's wet because it's easier to take this stuff out of his eyes when it's wet versus when it's dry. It's, it's pretty severe. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do it without him potentially, ah, he wants to kill me. Would you actually bite? I can't tell. Okay, your eyes are very gunky. They're very gunky. You need to get the stuff out of them. Look at his face, he's so mad. I'm, I'm putting this in front of his face to see if he'll go for it or if he's just all talk and no action because that will make me more confident to get in there. Look, that's all your gross eye gunks on there. 
it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Good boy. Good boy. Good. No, don't be mean. Oh, yeah, so he will definitely go for it. Oh, and he goes for it hard, too. Oh, now he's going for the towel. Great. You are vicious. Typical Pekingese. Look at his face. You are something. I'm assuming you're gonna attack the blow dryer. So, oh my god. No, not really. She says you don't eat anything. Yeah, she's right. Can I spray you with this? Okay, so I took the happy hoodie off of him because he was struggling to breathe with it on. Sometimes when you have dogs with these questioned faces, it can be difficult for them to wear the happy hoodie. So for his comfort, I took it off, but unfortunately it did make him more fearful of the dryer. I'm going to complete his dry in the cat carrier. Because his coat is extremely compacted, I can't get it dry without using high force air. It's almost like it's matted, but it's not. So I wanna be able to remove all of that coat. But now that I've done him a little bit with the high velocity dryer, I'm gonna put him in the cat carrier and use a smaller dryer and hopefully that'll make him less fearful. Because he is so spicy, I'm going to put him in the groomer's helper and in the cone because when I'm touching his feet, especially now that it looks like he has a broken nail, I don't want him to get agitated and spin and bite me. So buddy, let's hook you up in this first, okay? vicious little creature. They're curled right over, bud. You can't walk. Look at this one. It's almost right into your paw pad. You need this done. His groin is really matted, so I need to shave all of that out. So I'll shave this side first and then I'll switch to the other side. He likes to lay down like this for some reason. <laughs> You're okay. here is matted so I'm gonna take that off with the 10 it'll just be easier for him hey calm down 
Calm down. He really wants to kill me, if you couldn't tell. You're a vicious little thing. Holy smokes, man. He means business. He is not joking around. Some people might say, why not sedate the dog? I'll tell you that's because I don't think that that's an option for this family. It's not um, relatively affordable for some people. And so it's either going to get done like this or it's not gonna get done at all. Sorry, bud. You're okay. You're just fine. You're just fine. Buddy, you are one vicious thing. Holy moly, man. Okay, okay, okay. Can I just say that you are more nerve wracking to groom than the Caucasian Shepherd? Okay, it's okay, it's okay. Wow, you are something. Even if the owners tried to groom this dog at home, I wouldn't see it going very well. I really want to be able to brush out his lion mane, but I don't know that I'm going to be able to because he is, I don't think he's gonna let me anywhere near his face after this. He's not playing around anymore, he's angry. I'm gonna do what I can for the dog's comfort because he was quite matted, his nails were extremely overgrown, and he desperately needed to get cleaned up. He still has quite a bit of matting that I'm hoping to get out if I can. I also don't have help today. So the most aggressive dog I think I've ever done, maybe number two instead of number one, and I don't have an assistant. So, I mean, it's a good thing you're not big, right? Oh, man. It's okay. Did you get the cone on? Okay now, or are you gonna be mean to me? Hmm? Are you gonna be okay? You have mats behind your ears. How am I supposed to fix that? How am I supposed to fix that, mister? Are you gonna let me pet you? I'm gonna try with the comb first. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, can I try to brush you? I'm gonna get the big brush because I think that's gonna be safer for me in case you try to bite. What are you smelling? Hmm? Boy. 
good boy. Good boy. Good boy. So he has a mat here. He has a mat on this side behind the ear. Let's see if he'll let me. I might have a death wish, who knows. comb instead of my hand because I just think that would be safer in case he decides to bite. Good boy. There's really no sense of me putting him through any more unnecessary stress. I got his nails done, I got his matting out, so we're gonna say goodbye to Angry Bee now. I'm sending him home today with a fluff off Karen bandana because he was the biggest Karen ever. Right, Louie? Yeah, you're a Karen. You were a bad boy. Louie. You were a very bad man, Mr. Karen. Yes, you were bad. Mm -hmm.